Antimony or Deposits Antimony or deposits are sources of the element antimony, which is used in a variety of industrial applications including flame retardants, alloys, and electronics. Here are key aspects of antimony or deposits. Types of antimony or deposits. Vein and replacement deposits. These are the most common types and include veins of antimony minerals within host rocks, typically quartz or calcite. Example, the Zikyuangshan mine in China, one of the world's largest antimony mines. Stratiform deposits. These occur as layers within sedimentary rocks and are often associated with volcanic rocks. Example, the Sequangshan mine in China. Disseminated and massive sulfide deposits. These contain antimony minerals scattered throughout a host rock or in massive sulfide bodies. Example, the Bao district in Malaysia. Major antimony minerals. Stibnite. The most important antimony or mineral. Occurs in hydrothermal veins and replacement deposits. Valentinite. An oxide mineral of antimony that forms through the weathering of stibnite. Centermontite. Another oxide form of antimony, less common than valentinite. Tetrahedrite. A sulfosalt mineral that can be a significant source of antimony. Global distribution. China the leading producer of antimony, with significant deposits in Hunan, Guangxi, and Guizhou provinces. Russia, significant deposits in the Sakha Republic and Magadan region. Bolivia, known for its substantial reserves and production, primarily from the San Bartolome mine. Tajikistan, the Anzob mining complex is a notable producer. South Africa, home to the consolidated Murchison Antimony Mine. Extraction and Processing Mining Antimony ores are typically mined through underground methods. Open pit mining is also used, depending on the ore body and surrounding geology. Processing The ore is crushed and ground to liberate the antimony minerals. Flotation is a common method to concentrate the antimony ore. Smelting and refining processes are then used to produce antimony metal or compounds. Economic and environmental aspects Economic importance Antimony is a critical mineral for several industries due to its unique properties. The price and availability can be volatile due to geopolitical factors and environmental regulations. Environmental impact Mining and processing can lead to pollution, including heavy metal contamination. Regulations and improved technologies aim to mitigate these impacts. Applications of antimony Flame retardants Antimony trioxide is widely used in plastics, textiles, and electronics to improve fire resistance. Alloys Used in lead-acid batteries, solders, and bearings to enhance hardness and mechanical properties. Electronics. Antimony compounds are used in semiconductors and other electronic components. Understanding the geology, distribution, and processing of antimony or deposits is essential for managing its supply and ensuring sustainable use in various industries. Formation of antimony or deposits. The formation of antimony or deposits involves a variety of geological processes. These processes generally result in the concentration of antimony into economically viable deposits. Here's an overview of how antimony or deposits form. 1. Hydrothermal processes. Hydrothermal processes are the primary mechanism for the formation of most antimony deposits. These processes involve the circulation of hot, mineral-rich fluids through rock formations. Source of fluids. These fluids typically originate from deep within the Earth's crust, often related to magmatic activity. Transport The fluids transport antimony and other metals as dissolved ions. Deposition When these fluids move into cooler regions or react with existing rocks, antimony precipitates out of the solution, forming minerals such as stibnite. Types of hydrothermal deposits Vein deposits Antimony minerals precipitate in fractures and faults within the host rock, forming veins. 
commonly associated with quartz and calcite gang minerals. Replacement deposits. Antimony-rich fluids replace parts of the host rock with antimony minerals. Often occurs in limestone or other carbonate rocks, creating disseminated deposits. 2. Sedimentary processes. In some cases, antimony deposits can form through sedimentary processes. These are typically stratiform deposits. Source, antimony is leached from surrounding rocks by surface or groundwater. Transport, antimony is transported in solution to a depositional environment. Deposition, antimony precipitates from solution under certain chemical conditions, often in reducing environments such as black shales or marine basins. Examples, these deposits can be layered within sedimentary sequences, sometimes associated with volcanic activity. 3. Volcanogenic processes. Volcanogenic processes can also contribute to the formation of antimony deposits, particularly those associated with volcanic activity. Submarine volcanic activity. Antimony can be concentrated in submarine volcanic settings where hydrothermal vents emit mineral-rich fluids. Massive sulfide deposits. These environments can create massive sulfide deposits that include significant amounts of antimony along with other metals like copper, zinc, and lead. 4. Secondary enrichment. Secondary enrichment processes can enhance the concentration of antimony in existing deposits. Weathering. Primary antimony minerals like stibnite can be weathered to secondary minerals such as valentinite and cenomontite. Supergene processes. These processes occur near the Earth's surface and involve the leaching and redeposition of antimony by groundwater. Geochemical and geological controls. Temperature and pressure. The temperature and pressure conditions of fluid flow are crucial in determining where and how antimony precipitates. pH and redox conditions. The acidity, pH, and oxidation reduction, redox, Conditions of the fluids affect the solubility and precipitation of antimony minerals. Host rock composition, the type of host rock influences the nature of antimony deposits. Carbonate rocks, for example, are favorable for replacement deposits. Examples of antimony or deposits. Zikuangshan Mine, China the world's largest antimony deposit, formed primarily through hydrothermal processes. Bao District, Malaysia known for its hydrothermal vein and replacement deposits in limestone. Anzab, Tajikistan features significant hydrothermal deposits associated with magmatic activity. Conclusion Antimony or deposits form through complex interactions between geological processes, fluid chemistry, and host rock characteristics. The primary mechanisms include hydrothermal processes, sedimentary deposition, and volcanogenic activity, with secondary enrichment further concentrating the antimony in economically viable deposits. Understanding these processes helps in exploring and mining antimony resources efficiently and sustainably. Characteristics of antimony or deposits Antimony or deposits exhibit specific characteristics that are influenced by their geological formation processes. Here are the key characteristics. 1. Geological setting. Hydrothermal vein deposits. Formed from hot, mineral-rich fluids circulating through fractures and faults. Common host rocks include quartz, calcite, and sometimes carbonate rocks. Vein deposits are typically linear and can extend for several kilometers. Replacement deposits. Occur when antimony-rich fluids replace parts of the host rock with antimony minerals. Frequently found in limestone and other carbonate rocks, creating disseminated deposits. Stratiform deposits. Occur as layers within sedimentary rocks, often associated with volcanic rocks. Typically found in black shales or marine basins with reducing environments. Volcanogenic deposits. Associated with submarine volcanic activity and hydrothermal vents. These can create massive sulfide deposits containing antimony along with other metals. 2. Mineralogy. Primary antimony minerals. Stibnite, the most important and common antimony or mineral, 
characterized by its metallic luster and lead gray color. Tetrahedrite, a sulfosalt mineral that can contain significant amounts of antimony. Secondary antimony minerals. Valentinite, forms from the weathering of stibnite, typically appearing as white or grayish crystals. Cenermontite, another oxide form of antimony, less common than valentinite. 3. Texture and structure. Vein deposits. Exhibit banded or massive textures. Often show evidence of multiple phases of mineralization and brecciation, rock fragmentation. Replacement deposits. Disseminated texture with antimony minerals replacing the host rock matrix. Can exhibit a massive or banded appearance depending on the degree of replacement. Stratiform deposits. Layered structure conforming to the stratification of the host sedimentary rocks. May show fine grained textures due to deposition from aqueous solutions. 4. Geochemical characteristics. Elemental associations. Antimony is often found in association with elements like arsenic, lead, silver, and gold. Trace elements such as mercury and thallium can also be present. Alteration halos. Deposits can be surrounded by alteration halos where the host rock has been chemically altered by the mineralizing fluids. Common alterations include silicification, carbonatization, and argillization. 5. Geophysical characteristics. Magnetic properties. Stibnite and other antimony minerals typically have low magnetic susceptibility. Geophysical surveys may focus on associated minerals with stronger magnetic signals. Electrical conductivity. Antimony minerals, particularly stibnite, can exhibit moderate to high electrical conductivity. This property can be used in geophysical exploration techniques like induced polarization, IP, surveys. 6. Economic characteristics. Or grades. Antimony or grades can vary significantly, but economically viable deposits generally contain several percent antimony. High-grade deposits may contain up to 20 to 30 percent antimony. Accessibility and mining methods. Vein and replacement deposits are often mined using underground methods due to their depth and narrow width. Stratiform and disseminated deposits can be suitable for open pit mining if they are near the surface. 7. Environmental considerations. Toxicity. Antimony and its compounds can be toxic to humans and the environment. Mining and processing must be managed to prevent contamination of water sources and soil. Waste management. Proper handling and disposal of tailings and waste materials are crucial to minimize environmental impact. Use of tailings dams and water treatment facilities can mitigate potential hazards. Examples of antimony or deposits. Zikuangshan Mine, China the largest antimony mine in the world, characterized by extensive vein deposits. Consolidated Murchison Mine, South Africa known for its complex hydrothermal vein system. Anzab Mining Complex, Tajikistan features significant hydrothermal and replacement deposits. Understanding these characteristics helps in the exploration, extraction, and processing of antimony ore, ensuring efficient and environmentally responsible mining practices.